Have you been watching the U.S. Olymp we, we never talk about this. The U.S. Olympic trials are going on for, for um, in Oregon. Yep. And I wanted to do this because people think I'm typically a negative guy. And on certain topics, I am. But I want to give a massive shout out to Shakari Richardson. Okay. Shakari Richardson, three years ago, since it was three years, not four years, since it was 21, when mm -hmm. they did the uh, last Olympics in front of nobody during COVID, she got suspended because she got popped for weed. So her time at trials was basically eliminated. So as, as, as if she never competed. So she didn't make the Olympic team. And there are people that were mad saying, okay, she still should have been able to make the four by 100 team. That's an opinion. Because, but she didn't have a time from trials, technically. So I had no problem with her being completely left off the team. I think sometimes there are athletes and people in general that need to feel, I don't want to call it the depths of hell. They need to go but through. But they need, they, they need, huh? They, they need, need to go through. through. Yeah. They need to go through it. To understand the magnitude and become what they can be. Yeah. And in this case, Shakari Richardson, from that time, after that initially, that first, after that, you know, the Olympics, she wasn't doing very well. Her times were Terrible. 11s, over 11, maybe just under 11, but she was finishing seventh, Le eighth. Yeah. She was not That's doing it. well. She looked, she looked like you. She was going through some shit. What were you saying? What you say? She looked like you. She running, looked like me. Running 100. If I ran on 1100, bro, I'd be a fast ass time, man. <laughs> I ain't never run in 1100. and 100. Crazy. That's fast as hell. Um, But you could see she started to turn it around last year before the world championships. And then she started going upward. She went here, and then it started to come back up. And when you, she won the world championships, and she ran about a month ago that I saw a couple months. Couple, I think she ran. I saw on, on YouTube. Beat my, they don't play. Beat my, they never play. Beat my Jamaican sprinters. Uh, the Jamaican <laughs> sprinters are <laughs> the Jamaican ones are falling off, man. They're getting a little old. We'll see. We don't lose in the. Tell you what, they're not beating her. They're they're not beating her. It's this gonna time. be close. It's gonna she's be. Been beat, she's been beating them. I mean, she's been dusting them girls at the hundred. At the hundred, I'm not saying the two hundred because that girl Sharika Jackson is a, still a motherfucker at the two hundred. Yeah. But at the hundred, Shakari Richardson has been been humming. And one of the things that you always see from her is you see that she has that she has an arrogance to her. She has a swag to her. And she gets, like, you see a lot of races where her hair is long and hanging. And, and that's, like, to me, that's, I don't know why anyone would ever have their hair hanging. Like, it, it, it's, it's a wind thing. You know, like, your hair can hold you back. You never see guys that have, like, dreadlocks going down to their ass. That would be a problem probably going, you know, running. You know, it would, there's a wind resistance. Your dreads are in the air. What if a gust of wind comes and grabs the dreads and pulls you back? I don't know. Uh, yeah, does, yeah. They don't. They don't have dread swimming. That's for damn sure. It, it causes a lag. That's different. But air. There's a reason they don't wear baggy clothes. If they're wearing baggy clothes, your shirt's being pulled this way by the wind. Mm -hmm. But she, uh, in the final of the Olympic trials, she comes out. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care what you're doing. You can see this like. No wave into crowds, none of that other bullshit. She didn't. She wasn't. She typically wears a lot of makeup. No makeup, really. Maybe very plain for her. Her hair was tied up in a bun. No hairstyle. Mm -hmm. She still has her nails and her jewelry, but no hairstyle, no makeup. I'm here for fucking business. This is a business trip. She goes out there and runs a ten point seven one. I, I I mean, <laughs> she runs a ten seven one. She wins the trials. 
And I know she still has the 200 this week. She'll obviously be on the 4x100 team. And she and and the three win the three who qualify for the women are Shikari Shikari Richardson Shikari by the way we used to say Shikari it's Shikari she said what it is Melissa Jefferson ran a ten eight and Twanisha Terry ran ran a ten nine eight to finish in third she went to Miami Northwestern yeah um, T T Terry so big shout out to T- Twanisha Terry at a Miami Northwestern um, you'll be you. having lots of, you didn't you didn't go there bro you can't do that. I, I think that's the sign. I don't know. I know the, yeah, they're bulls. They're the bulls. What? It's no, the bulls. New Orleans on, and I don't even know my own. School. I'm a Sigma. This is our star think, sign. But New Orleans is here. I think the bulls is, I don't know. This The problem was you played. You weren't in the stands. So. Yeah. Um, Twanisha Terry, congratulations to all those women. But Shakari Richardson, kudos to you. You came a long way. You have a lot to be proud of. The United States is going to have a gold medalist. In the hundred in the Olympics, I have no doubt about it. And bet, bet you're gonna you're so you're gonna bet against the country you're born in. My my roots, bullshit. My roots, bullshit. We can, we'll bet, no problem. My roots is Akian Southfish. All right, man, get the fuck out man. <laughs> ox, ox, I don't know how anyone eats oxtail. I it's think freaking, you never, have you had I think, it's disgu- I think it's disgusting. I'm going to make you some oxtail one day. No, please. I don't eat knuckle meat. It looks like a damn knuckle that it's I'm pulling fucking knuckle. beef off it's of. the tail of an ox. I'm a, I'm a, Why would I eat that? I eat a fucking filet mignon. I, yeah, I, I don't eat, oh. Rudy, I'm going to make it for oh. you. And it's going to be Girl, different. I've had, I've had it. You haven't had it. I've had it from Jamaicans. No, every Jamaican's not good at cooking oxtail. Some people put ketchup. I've in. been to Dutch. What is that Dutch pot? Whatever place Dutch and four forty one. Dutch pot is. Oh, so they're not good either, right? They're wow. okay. They're not. That oh, you're, you're taking a shot now at your Jamaican brothers and sisters, they're right? Not authentic. Once you become a chain, it's like ah. Uh, yeah. okay. Nothing but Jamaicans are in that motherfucker when I went there. So okay. Really, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm a bring. I don't it. like. I I don't like, bro. I don't like neck bone. I don't, I don't like pig's either. feet. I don't like frog legs. I don't like, I don't like oxtail. But, I like. I don't even like I don't even like chicken all that so much. If I, if I make you some oxtail, you ain't gonna taste it at least. I'll taste it and then I'll and that'll be it. But that's right. too much. That's too like. There's too. If I if I gotta deal with bones all around the freaking food, it's a pain in the no, ass. No, it should fall off. It should be nice and tender. It should be like. Then, a, should, then there should be no bones. Then it should just be. It, it should no, fall no, off without it's touching it. Like, it's gonna be like soup. You want the bones? You want a soup? I don't even like soup, man. <laughs> I like steak, bro. All right, we're getting off topic, but I'm gonna bring right. box oxtail. Well, that's it. So. In the men's side. Uh-huh. So, yeah, kudos to you, Shikari. You're going to bring, bring us a gold, and apparently Nick is going to prove that he's not an American now. Um, Noah Lyles busted 9.83 in 100. Kenny Bednarik at 9.87. Fred Curley at 9.88. I'm going to talk real quick about this kid, Quincy William, Qu- Quincy Wilson. 400-meter runner, 16-year-old boy. That's a kid, right? Little, little child. Little guy, he a hundred. He's a hundred and forty pounds. He ran a forty four ninety four in the final. Finished sixth. Mm-hmm. He he's eligible to be in the four by four. He ran a forty four fifty nine in the semi. This kid is. He goes to Bullis High School in, outside of D.C. This kid is going to be a world record holder in four years. That's crazy. To compete the way he competed. He, what he said, I'm not even a grown man. I'm running against he, grown men. You see how skinny that little boy was? <laughs> said, that boy, I man, can't I haven't feel, weighed 140 pounds since I was like 10. He said, I can't, 12. Feel, I can't feel bad. I'm running against grown men with grown muscles who are developed. <laughs> I'm not developed. I'm probably puberty still touching them and shit, you know? Bro, with the way he ran... That kid is going to be unbelievable. Presuming he stays healthy, there's no injuries. That kid, holy shit. What does he have to be upset about? You finished six in the United States of America. As a 16, Not high school. As 16-year-olds. As a 16-year-old kid racing 32-year-olds. In their prime. Bro. Their body. And there was, another, there was another kid from high school um, that was in the 100 who finished in fifth. Mm. Which leads me to where I'm going with this one. Nick has the audacity, unmitigated gall, as I'm going to use for Stephen A. Smith. I've been waiting for this one. I want Nick to say to the world what he said to me. And I'm going to tell you already, so he's going to have to back it up now. 
Nick told me in a text message that he could break a 9-9 in his heyday. No problem. Just show up. No, that's not what and I said. I want you to. I have it on text. That's not what it. I said. I, I, I will screenshot I, and I put said, the text up. All I said was in my heyday, I believe I could crank under. A, I could crank around a that's, nine. No, I, be, not I believe. I could crank One, under a nine nine around. I believe. I, I really wanted to say ten, but I was feeling myself that day, so I said nine nine. I think I could have did it in my heyday. Granted, guys, you'll have to listen to this. I ran. In my fastest time I ran in the 40 was a 409. I was fat. I was, who timed it? My 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 trainer who's a hater. Laser? No. Laser? No, no, no. My trainer who's a hater is a clock. But my trainer who's a player hater, my biggest hater, is not giving me anything that I didn't do. So we could call him right now. He's like, hey, yeah, he did it. Uh, that more. But I was really, really, really fast. I ran against Olympic sprinters that I that probably they ran a four hundred, but I dusted them. I ran against track player people. Oh, let's race Nick a hundred yards. This at that time, I never lost the race, guys. Also, so yes. What I year? Believe, what year? What so, year? What year? What is? What was your heyday? So I'm gonna say around 25, 26 years old. When was this? When, when, when was this race against your friend, who's the Trinidadian sprinter? Well, you thought ran the 100, but he ran the 400. Whatever. Um, and so his 100 may have been a 10-9, and you dusted him. So he means you ran a 10-3, 10-4. Okay. Uh, Still very fast. So now. My point was the 9-9 nine, nine so, has been done by like 15 or 20 well, guys I'll, 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 in the history of the world. Under 10. Give me under 10. But also. I, I, of the world. I mean, first of all, I didn't say just go out there nakedly and sprint. Give me a little bit of training. I'm saying, give me six months. A little, a, a, a little bit of training. Get my a little bit. Let me work on coming out the blocks. Everything else, and and Rudy makes it seem like, like sprinting is the the hardest thing to to to, to do. It. It's either you got no, it. Tell, or, tell, tell them how you really feel. Tell them how you really. Feel. It's either you, you go. got it or go. you don't. That's probably the easiest sport to train for. You work on your hamstring. You work on your start. You work on. Going through the, the, the it's a hundred yard sprint. I'm not talking about a four hundred or or two hundred where you need to be more strategic and, and you need to be able to finish strong or you need to have more power to get through a hundred yards of a sprint. A hundred so first, hundred first, hundred and nine, so hundred and nine so point. It's a hundred meters. It's hundred. Yes, hundred meters, which is a hundred and nine point blah 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 nine yards, whatever. That's something I could. That's a football field. I done scored touchdowns and ran a hundred yards, hundred and ten yards. That's what the CFL field is. I run that all the time. I'm comfortable in that. So I think I can do that. Yes, I do believe that, guys. I was no slouch when it comes to running and sprinting. I was one of the fastest people. But you've never, never run stuff. track. But you've never run track because they didn't have a goalpost. If you're not gonna have a goalpost or something for me to run to, or a basketball hoop, I. I that's just not what I wanted who, to do. Who, who, was, who guided? Who guided you, Nick? Who what? Who guided you? Who guided me? What? Who was your mentor? In what? In life. In life. What male men? What male mentor guided you towards basketball and football? Um, because they should be slapped. I didn't have a mentor. If you think you're, if you, if you think that you're that damn fast, no, I. The fact they didn't guide you to track. They should. I should. I. You know what? I should. They should all be fired you know and I, and you know committed I, to a mental facility. You know what I should have done? For not that? guiding you to a track and a track. I should have did sixty meters. I should at least did started there. When when because I was when I was running you, and after the Vikings released me, I probably should have went and ran sixty meters. But I love sports. I love the competition of football. I love the competition of basketball. Says, I know. I, I'm just saying. But that, Noah Lyle, Noah Lyles was won the trials at nine eight three. He yeah. is the fastest American. But he was right now. he also slowed it down and probably could have ran a nine six. Well, he, that was actually the fastest time he's ever run was nine eight three. But he um, but, but you sorry, nine eight oh he ran a nine eight oh in the in the semis. But he cruised was, he cruised into it. No, he didn't cruise in the semis. He didn't cruise in the semis. I watched the race. He didn't cruise in the semis. A little bit at the end. Yeah. Uh, nine eight, it was the fastest time he's ever run. Who, who, yeah, the I'm world just, record is nine point five. With my start with Usain Bolt. With my start. And I don't know what your start is, you never run track. With my start as a sprinter, I know what I was capable of. Rudy's going to say, no, Nick, you can't do it. But I'm going to say, at least, all right, I'm going to be realistic. A, a, a 10 or like slightly under a 10. I said a 
no, and no. I think that would be you're, incredibly you're, fast. You're a young crack. If you think I'm, I'm going to get a 10 5. Well, I'm going to make a bet right now, folks. I bet Nick he cannot run a 10 5 on a track right now. So on a track so right Ru- now. So Ru- he still, because folks, he still claims a four four. <laughs> he claimed a week a, a month, few months ago, a four three in the forty. Now it's bottom, now he's moved it to four four five. This yeah, is on private. So I'm not training. Shit. This is behind also, the scenes. So we all also have to understand. I'm, I'm talking about guys that have trained their whole lives. And you said in six months I can be faster than all y'all. No, I said which proper training at that time at my height of my speed. With six months. They're training their entire lives. And we're, what you just did was Austin about, Rivers. We're talking you just about, Austin Rivers no, we're, tracked. We're talking about because we're sprinting. It's not more. It's, you don't need that much strategies and, and, and training. Like, you're, you're working on your start. Did you watch the, did you watch the you, final? It's either you got it or you don't when it comes to Let me ask you. Did you, you watch the final? You, it, it's, you, would, you, you were probably, no matter how hard you train, Rudy, you'll probably never be able oh, to. Oh, now you want to diss me? No, I wasn't no, about no, me. No, no, I'm, said I was fast. no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to diss uh, you. Uh-huh. I'm not dissing you. I'm just saying certain people, no matter what, they already have it. So what they're doing is maximizing what they already get to get to their. You think you can maximum. maximize your best, your speed in six months? Because I was already, because I was already fast. But you never ran. Elite level man. fast. So all I have to do is work on my start, get a little bit stronger to finish through on that hundred so I don't slow up. And make it through 100, and, 100 meters. Christian Coleman just did not qualify. I'm just saying, this is the easiest sport to train, okay, 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 to again, train for. Like, because you're not, the skills wise of it is different than basketball and football or hockey or even baseball. The skill wise of being able to just run what you've been doing since you were fucking two years old, you're running, is something that's easier to do. It's, it's just realistic. Christian Coleman just failed to qualify in the I get what you're finished. saying. Christian Coleman, did you watch the final? Yes. With Noah Lyles? Yes. Who was winning at the midway point? Coleman. Wasn't it? Was he? What happened? Why didn't he, he win? He didn't could have, could have finish. What? Why didn't he win, though? He, could have, so he, he didn't have the power to finish through. Everybody else. He, he, he runs. He's run 9-8. He ran a nine eight six in the semi. Might have got tired, fatigue. Why do you get tired? He, it's it's only running for a hundred meters. Certain days, some certain days you got it more than certain other days. It's just realistic. Just oh oh, so now we're adjusting. So sir? so 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 today, if I we go out there, you might run an eleven three. In my heyday, no way. No. Wow. Today. Today, maybe. I'm not just kidding. Train for six oh, months. Think about, I'll give you six months of training. I'm always realistic. Who do you even think I'm arrogant and shit towards? I'm, I'm, You're mad arrogant. You just no, disrespected the world-class track stars. No, I, I could go on a nine, a sub, not a nine, nine a sub nine, nine. So that means nine, eight. A time that's been run by maybe 20 people in the history of the world. Like, that's all I'm saying. You didn't, you didn't like, give a real, like, a, Tyree Kill ran a 10 one, nine. And you think Tyreek Hill is fast? I'm sure. Yeah. I know I sent you the I, I know I sent you the DK Metcalf video. I would be where DK. you said, "Oh, I'm faster than him." Okay. I would have been DK. Uh, he's 27 years old right now. He's not 35. I would have been. Um, DK. I'm, I'm not talking about me I'm, now. I'm, I'm talking about me when I was fine. Fine. When you were a blur. Yeah. When you were a blur. DK Great. couldn't see me. Tyreek Hill is still a blur. Yeah. Tyreek Hill ran a 10:19 when he was in high school. Yeah. So if Tyreek okay. trains, and he's never run and he's never run faster since then. So if Tyreek trains, he's gone back and he's run and he's never yeah, he, run faster than. I don't think Tyreek trained right. though. Oh, okay, again, why didn't? He, because and, getting faster than ten one nine is fucking hard. And, and me and Tyreek forties are similar. So if we, if I train yes, and Tyreek trained, but he trained for track for his high school career. My four two seven was a slow day. Nick running a fucking not a sub nine nine is. Blazing fast. I, I understand that. And you keep and, and you made it sound so easy for guys that have been doing that for a decade. But most and you people, say in six months, you're like the fucking dickhead like Jake Paul who says, I'm gonna go train MMA for six months and I'm gonna get in a cage and, I, and I'm gonna go fucking take these guys out in MMA. The fuck you're not. They're gonna take you down, choke you out, and put you to sleep in 30 fucking seconds, Jake. But, or Ryan but, Garcia, who's saying that I, shit now. But I can oh run. My can Jake do MMA? I can run. I can Could run. he box? He can. And he beat boxers. Yeah. He beat MMA guys boxing. But you know how long he trained for? It wasn't six months. 
but but all I'm working on is my start. Finishing all through. Right, so I, I know, I already know. You, you get, you'll get the needle and you'll give you, inject yourself in the ass and well, clear, I'm, in the, I'm the, all, clear in the cream and that's all, how you'll become faster. I'm a natural world-class athlete. How can you be a world-class sprinter when you never run track? That's the whole point. You keep saying that. You can't be a world-class sprinter if you never actually I'm run the, track. I'm the best unknown to be unknown. To what? Noah, Noah Lyles. He's worse than the NBA, bro. He's basically saying you ain't shit. Isn't that the motherfucker that was talking shit? I'm the best in the world. Yes. Not the, the UN and United States. I'm the best in the world. I like, I, I mean, and I disagree with him because the NBA is the best in the world, too, in my opinion. Yes. But... But the man's the best individual sprinter in the world right now. We so only thing we'll never be able to prove it. I, the Achilles injury, I I can crank it up. <laughs> no, I can go. I can get, I can get it back going. Look, I I, I I believe that you probably could run a ten five. Do I think you could ever run a nine nine? No, not without not without legitimately training for years. Yeah, no, not years. Years, six, not six months. six months. Six months. And your initial text was in my head. I could just go do it. No, no, no. I Just didn't go say do that. it. No, no, no. I, said, I, in my I head, have it here, Nick. In my I head, have it here in text. In my you head, adjusted, you I adjusted believe, 25 texts later. In my heyday, I believe I can rent a 9-9. Nine, nine. That's what I said. Right, okay, I'm, I'm going to actually pull this. What also colors with that now. is me thinking that I'm going to train, not that just go out there and just No, oh. but that's not what you said, sir. You <laughs> cannot run it back. You never elaborated, Rudy. I don't have to elaborate. You're the one that said it. How would I have to elaborate what you said? I gotta elaborate what you said. Yeah. Okay. Track is the easiest sport. I said it. Yep. Yeah. Basketball is harder. Football is harder. Baseball, hockey is harder. Yep. Yeah. If you got it, you got it in track, especially for a sprint like a hundred meters. Yes, that's probably the easiest one to do. Two hundred meters, I give a little bit more respect to. Four hundred meters, yes, yeah, that takes a little bit more. No, I want to see. I want to see you run a three minute and thirty five second mile. Yeah, I'm, sure I'm do not that doing too, that right? shit. I, maybe when I was in sixth grade and I had endurance for fucking. Oh, days. in sixth grade you could run a three. You could run a world record you fucking mile six, time. You don't care. That probably was the best time I could run. Probably sixth, seventh grade. I didn't care about shit. I could just run full speed all day I, long. I, 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 here we go. Uh, let's see here. Let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm going to read this shit out, you know, because you adjusted. I know, I know is your word. In my heyday, I could have cranked under 9.9. .9. Not, I think, I know. Subjective. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Nick Taylor. <laughs> Self-proclaimed fastest man in my heyday. Hey, now what do you consider my heyday? Hey, Whenever you say it is. Whenever I say it was. And whoever between, the fuck was your damn mentor and didn't have you on the track between twenty four is a fucking idiot. Before twenty <laughs> between twenty four and twenty six, see me. I don't care. They should have had you on the track in high school. And, you should have no, been running no, track. I, I, I don't like you'd be, you'd, you'd be you'd be a multimillionaire right I, now if I, you're as fast as you I made, say you are. I made a mistake, but I don't like running for no reason. I I need a goalpost. I need I need a the zone. goalpost is still there. I, I need mean, an end zone. I need an end zone. I need it's run. still there. You're just outside of the I field. I need a ball. I need a, a you know the have a damn person hold the ball to the side of the damn thing and pick it up at the end. I was gonna say I need to play with some balls. I, that's yeah. you, you. I mean, you probably like playing with balls. I don't know. I'm hoping it's just yours. Uh, <laughs> just mine. Anyhow, that's I'll I'll, I'll I'll I'm done harassing you on that one, but yeah, we were gonna bring that one up for okay. sure. Thank you for watching. Come on now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up to the minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel. Thank you.